What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. James Hugh, how are you? Dot com. And we're here for the premiere screening of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yes. Three years after its predecessor, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. What did you think about this film um, when it first came out, directed by Rupert Wyatt? Well, I didn't like the Mark Wahlberg one. Okay, Tim, yeah, no, we don't even, we don't even Burn, consider that. Uh, with uh, Tim Burton. Yeah, so then don't. when this one, the first one came out, The Rise, I was already skeptical. And then, like, literally, with uh, James Franco and Frida Pinto's character, and then it made me hate humans. It was that good. I was like, this is not Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, well, I guess that's where, I mean, I really liked the first one too, but it was, like, James Franco had no effect on me in the first film. He was essentially, I think, replaceable by anyone because Andy Serkis totally stole that show. Um, Andy Serkis was even talked about getting, you know, people were saying this man deserves an Academy Award for his uh, motion, motion capture, capture uh, which is amazing. But I think Caesar just as a character was really complex and really depthful. I thought, you know, this was a phenomenal film and a great interesting thought of people who watched the 1968 classic Planet of the Apes and wondered how this ended up happening. Um, it's been nearly 50 years since, uh, it's crazy. you know, Colonel Taylor landed, but I think that uh, it gave us a real good insight, but I, I really enjoyed the movie, which is leading me into really wanting to see this film. This is my most anticipated movie of the summer, and I really have high hopes, and I'm glad that Andy Serkis is be, uh, returning as his role. All the reviews are coming out, things are looking good for the film. Things have been pretty positive, but usually before the weekend, that doesn't really matter. This it changes, is true. changes very quickly, so. Okay. So, um, you excited? I'm extremely excited. Okay, good. Extremely excited, so let's hope it's good. Okay, so we just got out of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yes. And I'll go first as always. Of course. And I loved it. I thought it was awesome. I thought this movie had layers upon layers upon layers of showing us how stupid we are as humans, even if the pl apes aren't real. I, 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 I just, I thought it was an awesome film. I was like so moved by so many parts of this film because I'm look, looking at what the apes are, then there's the bad apes, then I'm looking at the humans, then there's the bad humans. I'm like, this is real life. Like all world war lords should watch this film and be like, oh my gosh, we're literally gonna kill ourselves one day. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah. I phenomenal. To, again, I think that your taste is maturing because I totally agree with you. Because, uh, you know, James before loved, you know, movies like that aren't mentionable, but this is a movie that you absolutely should love. I agree with you. I totally love this movie. I think the depth that this movie goes into is incredible. Um, Beyond apes. I think uh, Caesar even gets more complex, as I said in the beginning. I think he was one of the most complex characters we've seen on screen. I think he's the most likable and interesting characters we've seen on, on screen this year. Um, there's so much to him. Andy Serkis, again, does an incredible job with just his movements of his eyes, the gestures of his hand. You just, he speaks volumes without saying very much. And it's a very powerful thing. Um, if you want to talk about visual aspects and special effects, this movie's a masterpiece. Um, there are moments in the film where you literally feel like you could just touch the texture of the ape's face. Or their hands might be real. I mean, it, it really makes you wonder where real and fake kind of begins. And it was amazing to just be zoomed up on some of the ape's face and just you really doubted if it was fake or real at some points. No, I, I know this would sound stupid, but if you could somehow go back to the future or grab some people from like the 1950s, right? Because if you, someone in the 1950s that watched like an old movie, they would be like, oh, that's it's fake. Yeah. But if you grab someone back then and somehow threw them into here or somehow got them to watch this movie, they would say, I how do they get apes yeah, to do yeah, this? I, I agree. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's just truly amazing. It's kind of just eye-opening of what, like, I mean, just... It, it, even beyond this film, beyond the series, what we'll be able to do oh, it's with scary. is going to be in insanely intense. I thought the film had an amazing theme as well about the balance of just good and evil. Like you were saying, you know, it's not just, not some types are good, some types, but there's just good and bad in the world, no matter where you are, of no anything. matter who you are, of anything. Um, <laughs> we're going to kill ourselves. <laughs> if we don't get along, we will literally kill ourselves one day. It's, it's, it has plenty of themes to open up about oh my us gosh. and technology and our dependency on power and things like that. It also touches us on how we treat nature and things like that. Which I think is a really eye-opening film. Um, I really have to give the credit for being a well-paced movie. The movie yes. really does build you up well. Just like Rise, I think that they get you to a point where you follow these characters and then they throw you in the middle of a heap of action that just gets you so involved. The action sequence, the, the main climax of the film, when, every, when all hell breaks loose, is incredible to watch. It is just edge of your seat, non-stop action. I mean, and there's so much thing, and there's so much things to appreciate. This is actually the second time I've seen this film already. And I was catching things I didn't notice the first time and just, you know, connection between characters. Um, I'm not sure the actor who plays Caesar's son uh, in the movie, who plays this, uh, the 
um, motion capture, but his performance as well is equally as strong. Gary Oldman has some really great moments. Um, I wish they would have used him a little bit better, but I'm um, still happy with that. I, I'm, I'm just excited for the next one. I know we have one more to go. I believe they're signed up for a trilogy, yep. if, if I'm not mistaken. And, I wish, um, and I know why they don't do this, but I wish during the credits, instead of just being the black and then the, um, the credits, I wish they could show like what these actors are doing where they have their spandex basically yeah. and I wish we, p people who aren't sweaty nerds like me and you yeah. that see this though I wish people could see what these actors if, are doing yeah if you it's, really it's have no, if you have no idea what we're talking about is we're talking about motion capture you own how these these films are created I really recommend YouTubing it and watching yeah, the technology it's, it's phenomenal it's the same technology used to create King Kong Avatar uh, Andy, Andy Serkis um, as well as Gollum. the Hobbit Gollum from the um, Lord of the Rings so the technology like I said is mind-blowing to think what we'll be able to do you know soon and to think maybe two three years down the road when we have the new film how much better it look because I watched Rise of the Planet of the Apes before I had my screening on Tuesday and already there is a huge jump it's I mean crazy. Rise doesn't look bad it doesn't look dated but there is a huge jump in like just the texture like I was so amazed by just uh, one of the um, close-ups on Caesar and just how real it seemed um, I, again, I think Caesar is the nucleus of this film and just kind of makes it powerful and speaks everything and he is what attracts people to watch the movie. Um, and I think that's why it's okay for them to change the other human actors. But I could go on for days. Read my review and see why I'm going to give Dawn of the Planet of the Apes four out of four stars. Chasingsimmon.com slash Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And then you can get the full on, full on, full on. The movie is phenomenal. If you didn't see the first one, watch it and watch this one if you didn't. Just watch the movie, it's awesome. And if you have watched both of these films while you're watching this, go visit the 1968 Planet of the Apes and just see where we end up. It's an interesting thought. I can't even watch that one. Why? Because <laughs> it's too old. Why is it too old? Okay, anyway. no, no, hold on. We've, I've had this conversation with somebody before. <laughs> They're like, the apes don't look very believable and all that stuff. But see, in my opinion, I think the 1968 apes look just fine because we've evol they've evolved more to being human as they are in this film. They have evolving to be more human. And, and by that time, if generation when the human race is pretty much gone and the apes have dominated the world, they're like human beings. They're in clothes. They look like humans. They walk like humans. They talk like humans. And I think that was a pr pretty good transition. And even if if you watch the 1968 film, which I'm gonna have to make you watch, it still seems like to make sense with their um, evolution. All I gotta say is part three is gonna be frightening. I am super excited. It is gonna be three. frightening. I don't know, and you know the movie was smart because I think a lot of people were guessing where this movie was gonna go, and it didn't. It ended up going a different route, and I kind of enjoyed that, and it kind of intrigued me a little bit more. But I could go on for days. So check out my review, ChasingCinema.com/slash Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Facebook and Twitter, like and follow this man. Learn everything you can about film yes, from thank him. You, sir. Jake Toronto and next week sex tape and purge anarchy. I will be going for purge. Yeah, I'll be going to see purge too. All right, we'll be back seven days, guys. Thanks, guys. Watch the film; it's awesome.